Daddy? Do you sound like Mrs. Jackfire when you do that? I know, yeah, it's funny. It's I like Mrs. Jackfire, though. I do. I do. I do. She's pretty cool. <gasps> so, yes, we're here again, and if you recognise that voice, we're here with Faye! <laughs> oh, and she's having mediocre length nails. <laughs> And we're doing snake skin. She's seen this design. She wants it. She loves it. And nails are medium length nails, if that's even a thing. So, yeah, let's do the snake skin. Let's jazz her up because she's had boring nails for way too long. I'm just going to wipe over with the clean-up solution. Make sure they're nice and clean. There is no grease or anything on there from touching. Because, you know, the clients like to touch. I'm not saying you are. I'm not saying you. I'm not blaming you. But other clients, they're a little bit touchy-touchy, aren't they? We're going to put a background colour on. We're going to base coat them as well. We're doing gel polish. So this is something that's easy for, you know, for you to change. Okay, me to change. It's always me, yeah. Just gonna put base coat, because I want them to last a long time. So Faye doesn't have to do a nail tech cheat on me and go to somebody else because she can't get her nails done by me. So what we need to do is keep these on for as many weeks as possible. So the base coat is so necessary <laughs> because it's super... She's that sort of vile, isn't she? I, I'm, not, I'm not bitter. So you, vile. You sound a bit, uh, what? a bit annoyed with that. Not, not at all. I'm absolutely fine that somebody else has been looking after my face. I'm absolutely fine with well, it. Well, maybe if I wasn't so neglected, maybe I wouldn't have to go somewhere else get my blood. I think you're from. right. I think you're right. But it's okay. She's back. She's on fire. Yep. This bitch is on fire. Great song. Pop that in the lamp for me. So the background colour that we're going to use today is beige Dave. We like a bit of Beige Dave. I don't know why, but I always feel like I need to say Beige Dave in like a Cockney accent. <laughs> like I'm from London, isn't it? That's a really bad accent, but yeah. That was really bad. I wouldn't get the casting, would I, Adam? Adam would be like, no, you're not having the job. Yeah, he'd be like, absolutely not. We ain't, um, we ain't having a... Pygmalion. A what? Pygmalion. Pygmalion? My, my fair lady, isn't it? I thought it was originally called the stage show, Pygmalion. And what's that? My Fair Lady. Yeah. It's, so the name is Pygmalion. What's that mean? I don't know. Where's that come from? Well, that's what you sound like. Oh, it's I sound like, like one of them? Yeah. Is that how they sound in, the, in that musical? Yeah. Oh, thank goodness. So, I'm going to do two coats of colour on... Each nail. Well, that's very beige, Dave, isn't it? It's such a lovely colour, you know what? And obviously, when you've got a bit of a tan, and don't say you haven't got a I tan. I haven't got a tan. Well, if you I look have at my, got a tan. my arms and your arms are very different colours. I have not got a tan, and you've clearly got a tan. But you've you've not got your tan like you like it. Is that what you mean? Yeah. You're like super tan. Mm. Don't tell us time of year because your body's a lot colder in the summer. And your blood's warm, eh? Yeah. Well, it's like when you come off holiday, you immediately just go. Like, like that glow, that glow. Goes. Yeah. And is that, is that a blood want temperature? That holiday glow. So it's down to your body temperature as well? Well, I imagine so. I never thought of it like mm. that. That's actually. So when you get off the plane, it's like, woof. Yeah. Where's your holiday glow gone? It's just a difference in temperature. The thing you? is, I don't ever have a holiday glow because I am as pale as pale can be. I'm, you know, like Beige Dave is quite pale. No. Ivory. Ivory in colour I am. We're going to be using cola. So, I love cola. It's a nice background for this design that we're going to do. And we're going to do them at like squiggly angles. Squiggly angles? Is that even a thing? Squiggly angles. No. Right, but here's top tip. You know I like giving you a top of tippy. If you can't draw a straight line with the brush bottle, 
you know, any of your gel polish bottles. Get a Lily liner brush, load it up. Do your line. So get this sorted wherever you want the polish to go up to. Do your line like that. Then come in with your brush, get your gel polish, and you can just butt straight up to that and you haven't got to worry about getting a nice neat straight line. Okay. And we're gonna do two coats of this color. Make sure I've come right around the edges. And we're going to do each nail a little bit different because we like being a bit different, don't we, Faye? This one we're going to do half a one. Uh -huh. I mean, I like it. It's very tough, toffee. I think it's toffee. Like Caramel. It. Caramel. Cashmel. Cash. Cashmel. Mm. It's called cola. Cola's got caramel in it, hasn't it? Do you know what? What is the secret ingredient to cola? So what is it made of? I don't know. Chocolate. It's not chocolate. It's something that's very Moorish. What makes it so Moorish? So we're going to mix cola along with vamp and void. I do like it when we get to mix and play with colours, yes. Right, so. I'm going to add a tidgy bit more of vamp. I love doing this. I feel like I'm a proper artist when I, when I start mixing colours. <laughs> so, I want to sort of... As opposed to a fake one? No, mixing colours. I feel like a proper <laughs> artist. Oh, as opposed to that like fake one you've No, I did. So, can you see the kind of colour that we've got? Okay. So it's like a dark brown, but it's got a hint of warmth from the red. So from that vamp colour, it's got a hint of warmth, and that's what we want. That's what is the one. That is the butt. The butt. Right, then. Oh, it's a magic trick, this is. What we're going to do is going to take base coat. 
and a couple of splashes of clean up solution. Let's get mixing. A bit more base coat, a bit more base. Still a little bit runny, so I'm going to add a little bit more base coat. And what this will do, it will make it a lot thinner. We mm. also don't want it too thin like water. So I'd say it's halfway between a liquid and a gel. Make sure it's mixed through properly. That's why doing it with a spatula is quite good. You could do, do use a brush, that would be absolutely fine. But you can see how it's like, it's not quite like a liquid, as in like a water or a solution. But it holds its shape a little bit and then falls, yeah? I'm picking that up all right. Mm -hmm. Then, please may I have your hand? Yes, my darling. Darling, darling. Let's you, we'll use this, mm. we'll use the dotting tool. Let's go in with the dotting tool and do a little line like that. Oh, some little That's ones. It. Dot dot dot. Now you want it to sort of start to move a little bit. So give it a minute. At least 30 seconds. So can you see how it's moving? Let it move a little bit. Right, pop me that in the lamp. So the reason that I've mixed a little bit of the cleanup solution into the base coat is it will act like a blooming gel. So if we put it into just base coat alone, you won't get that sort of that sort of bleeding, blooming effect that you need. So in if we but you put want it the in distinct line in between, don't you, which you've got. Yeah. So if you put too much Clean up solution in it. It'll just I don't know how you've bleed managed, too much. I don't know how that's managed to do that though, because it's like created a channel in between each of the bits that you've put on. Yeah, that's what you need. But how's it done that though? Because the, there's a base coat in this as well. So that. So as the base coat stops it from blending together, that's what I'm yes, saying. Yes. What's so it's kind you of get that smudged channel. a bit, but not gone together because of the base coat. That's very clever. Oh, I see. So the base coat then is working as a barrier. Yes. Right, because I can see and the channel. The clean-up like, solution. How have you done that? Is, yeah, the clean-up solutions are going to go. Yeah, is that, is that like that's the proper word? I think, Adam. So let's get a better look at it. There, you can see those. So you can see these lines. You can see here. the channel in between. That's yeah. What it is. So it's something that you need to do quite quick. You want to get your colours on quick because obviously they're going to move at different times. So it's acting as like this slip layer to add the colour. So yeah, let it move a little bit, let that sort of bloom happen. So this is something you need to do one at a time, you can't just leave that and then put it in because what will happen is everything will start to slip and slide and move too much. And then the desk will be wearing it. So we're going to use Goldfinger to do a nice little straight line and then get the glitter, tap your brush in it like that and then literally just tap it in to the wet gel polish and you get all those little dimensions because there are different size glitters. There's two different size glitters in the glitter. And then there's obviously mm. also the shimmer in the background of the gel polish as well. Pop that in the lamp. 
Now, if you think you've got any extra bits on there that are like sticking up or anything like that, that aren't adhered to the gel, wipe over with a lint-free wipe with the cleanup solution and it'll just take any of those bits off. So can you see those sparkly bits? Because the reason I'm doing that is because when I put my top coat on, I do not want any of those bits of glitter to get stuck in my top coat because the top coat will be ruined. Right, so we're gonna use the glossy top coat. So this top coat has no sticky layer. We're gonna do one coat, obviously because it's a chunky glitter that's on there. What we will do is we'll do one coat and give it a little bit of a buff. One coat is all it takes. <laughs> Not quite. You oh, could, you mean, do it wrong, you could use one coat. No, I don't want one coat on. But you want it super, super, super smooth. Two coats is the way forward. Pop them in the lamp for me. Right, so let's give them a buff. Just so we get a really smooth finish on that surface. I mean, don't get me wrong, they don't look, they're not, they're not feel, not dead. No. No, no. it's not really textured, so you, you probably get away with just the one coat, but I'm a perfectionist and so is the one sat in front of me. Oh. So, of the one. So we're just going to smooth that. So we're going to use the pink and copper AB. Now I know it says pink, we're not going to use these ones. We're going to use the copper ones. Oh, because I think they're just going to look absolutely gorgeous. So let's open those up they're from Nail Come And we're going to use Nail Come um Crystal totally. Now, if any companies out there want to send us any gem glue, we are, we would love to test all the gem glues out there. Right, so I'm gonna pick some of that up and do I put them there? Do I put them there? Yeah, I would. I'd, I'd go opposite. Yeah, I'm feeling that. So you're gonna move this around, place it where you want it. So I'm using the Pammy Picker Upper, which is our tool for putting crystals on. So we can put that on and then we can get the crystals and we can pick them up and press them in to the gem glue. And they do sit really nice into that gem glue. And then I'm gonna get, you don't even need to cure these at this stage because this will, you can cure them if you want to, but because I know how, how, oh, what's the word? Strong, how strong the um, gem glue is. I Very can best. put my top coat, so this is the Kirsty making glossy top coat, I can put that up to it and protect them even more. I'm not going over the top of the gems, literally just sneak up to them and kiss the gems with the top coat. No, they on. They're beautiful, they are beautiful. They're a bit gorgeous. I mean, before you were just having a lick of colour, weren't you? Just a lick of paint. <laughs> look at them now. They look gorgeous. <laughs> <laughs> They're wild. Wild. So I'm just going to put some cute colour on. Add. Hops. A bit of oil. Oh, yeah, I've been treated, but I'm not going to lie. I can't wait till you finish skiing and you can have a big, <laughs> massive, long nails on. Right, here we go. Let's have a little look. Let me try and hold them fingers together for me, like nice, and give them a little bit of a. Nah, they're nice, aren't they? Yeah, they are. You've smashed the print. Oh, it's lovely. Love it. Yeah, I do. I are. Get them off. 
<laughs> Sweaty gloves. Don't like that. So, if those of you are wondering what I'm wearing, I'm wearing my new aprons. I'm sure we'll link them below somewhere. Um, <laughs> so anyway, that's Faye done for the day. I hope you've enjoyed having Faye back in your life because I have. And I know people have missed it because they all love you, Jock. So. Um, and if you recreate any of the designs that you've seen on our YouTube channel Ooh, yeah, or on Instagram, see. we want to see them, don't we? So give us a hashtag and because I love seeing them and even like tag us, tag Kirsty McKean on Instagram or whatever. You know what to do. You know the drill. Can I just say, <laughs> when Kirsty gets even older than she already is and decrepit and she can't do nails, then I'm going to need to see all your fantastic work so that when I ditch you, I'll trade her in for a younger model. <laughs> right. Wow. <laughs> well, so now she's showing her true colours. That's it, nails are done. Where are those nail <laughs> nippers? <laughs> 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 so, oh. everything that I've used today will be listed below. If you've made it through to the very end of this video, give yourself a round of applause and a pat on the back. Mm -hmm. Thank you very much and give us a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe and I will see you all in the next video. Ta-da, duck!